Hey, I'm Kimani with Van Stray Designs, and today we're going to be cleaning the lens on our laser head. Okay, so now that you have your laser head in an easy to access location for you to reach everything, uh, you're gonna wanna make sure you have a micro, a clean microfiber cloth and some isopropyl alcohol. 70% um, is what I had on hand. Uh, if you have something else, you can use that. Uh, or if you have a desired lens cleaner made for optical lenses, you can use that as well. But these are the two things that you'll need to get started. So let's start by removing the air systems. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna push down on this blue ring to remove the connection for the air hose. So just push down on that and get your, get your air hose. Uh, next, we're going to take this and twist it down so that we'd actually twist it off. Before we twist it all the way off, we're going to make sure we can rotate the head around. So. Twist it down, rotate it around. Now that we twisted it down, it doesn't hit the laser head in the back. So on this one, just take it all the way off. If it did hit the laser head in the back, you could just keep twisting, take this all the way off once you've loosened the, the head. There you go. Okay, so next up we're going to take this silver ring and undo that. Set that right there. And there's a little white washer type ring inside the lens that we're going to... So now that we have that off, you see we have a little white washer ring and you can see our lens and this pretty much just pops right out so just gently there we go now you set your washer to the side and carefully on the outside of your lens grab your lens now the lens make sure you, you realize cause there's a flat side and there is a curved side and you want the curved side to point up. So just make sure after you get it clean that you take note of that. Okay, so to clean it, I'm just gonna take a little isopropyl alcohol. Um, if you have a cleaning solution you like, you can use that. I'm just gonna pour a little bit on my microfiber towel. And take the lens very carefully and just wipe both sides of it. There wasn't too much stuff on there. I can see a little bit of filmy buildup and it's already coming off. And then I'm going to move it down to a clean part of the towel. You can see. And just dry it off. Down. Yeah. So now we have a nice clean lens. So now we're just going to put all of this back together. So remember, like I said, you want to make sure that the curved or the con. Vex, convex or concave side, convex side, I think that's the curved side up, is pointing upwards, and that the convex side, which has is closer to the flat side, is facing downward. You'll also be able to know because when you put it in, you should be able to see a reflection of yourself. So I don't know if this will show up on camera, but you can see a reflection of me, which shows you that you're facing the right direction. 
So I'm just going to drop it into here very carefully. Which I am now. There we go. And then I'm going to put the washer back in. And the rain. Let's give it a nice little twist, not too much tension. It wasn't that hard to get off, so it shouldn't be that hard to put back on. And then we're just going to put this back together. Please excuse the hissing sound. I haven't upgraded my air assist, which I'm going to do here in the next day or two. So that's why you're hearing the sound. Make sure it's nice and snug on there. We're going to twist you back the right direction. Reattach the air by pushing back on that ring. And there we go. Now everything is back together. Uh, next, I'm going to check the mirrors to make sure they are clean as well before I do a test cut. All right, so as you can see, this is the test card I just cut. Um, I have nice clean lines everywhere. Um, just so you know, I did go ahead and upgrade my air assist. So this is with the clean lens and an air assist, which that video is coming out right behind this one. Um, this piece right here um, is the piece I was trying to cut before I upgraded anything. And as you can see, I have really faint lines of where it tried to cut through. And this is after running it through a sander about eight times to actually see any of these lines. So my lens was really dirty, really bad performance, not cutting anything. Uh, like I said, I had to run it through a sander about eight times just to get it to where this was loose and coming out. But I still have sections of this that won't pop out at all. And this cut nice and clean one time. So... Yeah, make sure your lenses are clean, and if you get a chance to upgrade your air assist, upgrade your air assist. Uh, that video, like I said, is coming out right behind this one, so you can check out that process. Thanks. <music>